super chat here. What's that about? Hi, finest. What's up? Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Nine ninety nine, fellas. Multi X Multi QX has identified my front stage as small forty hertz crossover. There's a peak around fifty to sixty hertz in the sub response, so the forty hertz seems to flatten that out with the twelve dB per octave slope. Sounds right and tight. Thoughts right and tight. I'm gonna have to think about that. Uh, front stage is small, forty mm -hmm. hertz. Okay, so th that's pretty low already. That's yeah. really low. I mean. I hope the speakers can handle that. That's the first thing I thought of. A lot of times, if it has like boundary boundary gain, as long as it reads at like you know minus, the, I don't know what they're using minus three or minus six, minus ten. I don't know, but as long as it sees forty hertz, it's gonna say you can it can do forty hertz. Yeah, it's not testing to see what'll happen if you turn it up in reference. Right, <laughs> that's that kind of stuff scares me. When you start yeah. reading things like yeah, that. yeah, you have to you have to kind of be smart about it. Uh, there's a peak around 50 to 60 hertz in sub response. Okay, so the 40 hertz seems to flatten that out with a 12 dB per octave. Mm. I mean, knowing nothing else, I would think if you can use EQ, just knock the peak down and then cross higher. I mean, yeah. That's what I would think you would want to do. Yeah. I don't know if you can. Yeah, uh, only reason why you want to cross over lower than you have, you know, um, you know, I usually choose eight, 80. So the only reason I would choose lower than that is, let's say, if my subs actually needed help, right? And if my if I had some floor standing speakers and they could handle, you know, let's say if I had a, my subs for some reason based on the placement, hypothetically speaking, they were, let's say they weren't able to like play 70 hertz, you know, well, for whatever reason, but my floor standing speakers could, that's the time I would say, oh, you know what? Let, let the floor standing speakers handle 70 Hertz. <clears throat> Other than that, I don't Oh, okay. Oh, Did you see what he's got? The, what speakers? Yeah. He's got the fancy speakers. Ah, he's got some big go. speakers. He's a, he's a good that go. makes more sense. <laughs> You're probably okay then. You're good to go. I've and heard if it works for you, yeah. use it. You're yeah, ultimately the final judge. That's the thing about stuff like this, man. When you're like talking about your system to somebody who's never heard it, I mean, it's like you don't know until you know. You know, like how good can the system sound? Well, I don't know until I've heard something that's better, you know, or or heard somebody have a shot at making it better. Mm -hmm. you just don't know until you know. And you just gotta that's a shout out, Joe's magic. Man. Yeah, yeah, you, and you know what? Experimentation is huge. I always recommend that people just try different things like let's say for example if you if you is that me yeah, that's me i made some money uh no nah, what you call it? it if you have a speaker let's say your subs and your main speakers they they can both handle all the same frequencies right you may want to try 40 crossing over at 40 50 60 70 80 you know try all the different ones and see how it sounds like there's actually a difference that you'll notice even if the microphone measures similarly in both situations. Like when you listen, you're like, oh, I, I understand. I understand the difference in sound uh, when you cross over higher. Mm -hmm. Have you tried that, Aaron? Like just I've choosing a higher, and lower crossover point and just seeing like... Yeah, it, I mean... It's kind of weird, right? Like how do you especially when you, you, Yeah, like especially when you're, you're not at the helm. You know, like you're basically given whatever the room gives you or the speakers mm -hmm. and the room and then you're trying to let your AVR correct for it somehow you know like if you're at the helm and if you spend the time which i find a lot of people don't but you, if you spend the time to really move subwoofers around and measure and try different crossover settings and try different slopes you know try different phase orientations and things like that in the software on the amplifiers themselves but it takes work you know and you kind of got to know what you're doing at least to some degree so <laughs> John, you're funny, bro. Why? John, I see you. Like, is, is this is this a good time? I'm, I, I'm no, no, because I would just go. I I would run Odyssey, and then I'd go to the subwoofers and go click, 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 click. Yeah, that should be fine. And then <laughs> there's this big whole bass boost. Because <laughs> <laughs> and that's right when you were saying you got to know what you're doing. I'm like, man, I totally, totally didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Yeah, well, I knew so, I was just making it louder. Well, it's not easy to experiment either, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like it's built into your AVR. It's not like you can right. go there and say, hey, oh, 
you know, let me let me test out different things. It, it's hard. Right. Yeah. You know, you and then, you know I'm in. not the, I'm not the like best at like playing pink noise through a subwoofer and be like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you don't like yeah. to do that? That's chocolatey right there. Fun, <laughs> Use the Moog, huh? <laughs> yeah use my synthesizer it's funny when you get really low on the moog it's they just do clicks and pops and the subwoofer just fucking the woofer just just it's so crazy like i like after doing that with the pb4000 like at, for like half an hour like i was nauseous like i was just because i was standing right right on like i put the synthesizer on the subwoofer and i was it was probably my mistake <laughs> trying to read the THX or what? <laughs> yeah. Make sure to check out our audio only version of the podcast at anchor.fm forward slash daily hi fi or just go to your favorite podcasting service and search for daily hi fi. Mm-hmm.